Let's get her on the table, right? This horse has a table. condition called a guttural pouch mycosis, which is a fungal infection in its guttural pouch up in its head. That fungal infection has eaten its uh, way through a very major artery leading to its head, and this horse needs emergency surgery, but it's obviously losing uh, an awful lot of blood and has lost an awful lot of blood, so we have to do a blood transfusion before we can take it to surgery. So just showing you that process, we get uh, a donor horse, First, we need to check that the blood from our donor matches our patient. If they don't match, then we may get a, an immune reaction in our patient, which uh, could cause the blood to agglutinate and could cause the patient to die. So we collect blood from the donor and the patient. We spin the blood down to separate the cells from the serum. Now we need to cross match uh, to make sure the recipient blood does not have any antibodies that may react with our patient blood. The cells in our patient blood may react with the serum of our donor, uh, which is called a minor cross match, or the serum of our patient may react with the cells of our donor, which is a major cross match. So we mix the cells of our patient with the serum of our donor <coughs> and vice versa. And if the blood curdles and agglutinates on the slide, then we, uh, they don't match and we can't use that donor. So that looks pretty good. Next, we get our blood collection bags. They have this liquid, which is an anticoagulant. This liquid uh, stops the blood from clotting in the bag. These bags are actually uh, human blood collection bags. So we'll be able to collect about 450 mils of blood in this bag, which is roughly a pint. Uh, we will need about 20 of these for our patient. That will give us about nine liters of blood, which is the maximum amount we can collect from our donor. Then we attach a blood giving set uh, and hook that up to the patient. The blood giving set has a filter to catch any clots that may have formed uh, during the collection process. And then we can transfuse this life-saving blood to our patient so we can stabilize her for surgery. In this case, the surgery was successful. We managed to stop the bleeding and this horse has since given birth to a healthy foal.